and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Nasty Bills. I'm your host, Remy Marvin. And I'm Midnight Robin here in Gymnasticsville, the one stop shop for all the information and gym talk. We're going to bring it to you every week. This is the showdown we call the Bird's Nest. That's right, that's right. So, Midnight, why Gymnasticsville? So the gymnastics community has a voice. How about you, Remy? You know what? I'm going to feed off of that one. We're going to let the people talk about what's been on their minds. All right, so stay tuned. We got an interview coming up next. In Gymnasticsville. Check out Gymnasticsville.com for all the latest blog posts from specialists in the field of gymnastics. Gymnasticsville, the one-stop shop for all the hottest information in gym. All right, and we're back. We're back at episode one, first episode of Gymnasticsville, and excited to be here with Remy Marvin. Gymnasticsville, woo woo. Yeah, so um, we're gonna get right into it, Ian. Sighty time of the year. Let's get into it. Sighty time of the year. What's your uh, favorite aspect about NCAA gymnastics? That's a good question. Well, I like the whole team aspect. Honestly, every time I went to a competition, that was what I looked forward to. Is if they had a loud cheering session. Because that just motivated me to, you know, want to quiet that noise. So for me, it was the team camaraderie, the, the, the sportsmanship, the cheering of each other on to do their best. What about you, Marvin? I mean, midnight. You know, um, yeah, pretty much, I mean, I had to second that with you, you know, uh, I think the most exciting aspect of uh, college gymnastics is is the camaraderie, is the team, is the um, just going through the tough, rigorous season. And honestly, for me, I think the best part of the season was the day after the last day of NCAAs when it was all over. Because, you know... Not too many people really understand how much goes into it. <laughs> go into it. Yeah. You know, being from Oklahoma, you know, I was there, you were there, morning workouts, man. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you win, it's all worth it. If you don't, still worth it. Still worth it. That's one thing I like about gymnastics. That's why we established gymnastics them, is to express how it's impacted our life. It impacted how we learn. It impacted how we see things. It impacted how we dealt with failures in life to be able to bounce back from it. Exactly. So throughout this whole Gymnasticsville podcast, that's what our main topic issues are going to be around. You know, hopefully we can provide solutions for our listeners, you know. Um, <laughs> they don't know. That's why we're going to share they with them. They don't know. Exactly what it takes. Not only to be a good individual, but also to be a good teammate. It takes a community. It takes a village. It takes togetherness in order to establish greatness. Yeah. All right, what are we talking about today? Yo, you know what we're talking about. We got a special guest coming on today, bro. Oh, snap, who this is? Who is it? It's my who li- is it? It's my little bro, actually. It's Midnight Robin's little bro. Oh, snap. He's not really my little bro. He's kind of bigger than me at the moment. You know, he's always... Little big brother. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. Um... Yeah, we got we got the uh, 2016 NCAA Assistant Coach of the Year 
for the back-to-back. Uh, Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma Sooner, baby. Oklahoma Sooner. Our, our alumni, he's 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 in the house. Uh, the birds. The birds nest. Yes, he is. Yo, I ain't even going to put out his names like that. But I will give him his government. And that is Mr. Taki Abdullah Simmons himself. Hello, Gymnasticsville. That's what it is. Happy to be here. Nice. Thanks, Thanks for coming, Talk. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Happy How's to everything? Be part of this first episode. Nice. Uh, How's uh, Norman over Norman. there? Norman is nice. The weather is inconsistent as ever. You know, we had snowstorms one day, two days later, seven degree weather. So it's been a really inconsistent uh, winter to say the least. But I can't complain. You know, Norman, Oklahoma, college town. It's, it's nice though. How 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 are those morning workouts? Early. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> they're, they're early, but they're going well. The team is uh, they're a necessary uh, part of the process. Nice. Hey, did the uh, switch get renovated? Um. Yes, they're in the process of renovating the training facility there. Um, what kind of training facility is this, and for who? It's going to be in a weight room, weight training room um, for the team and all the teams of OU. Uh, it's going to be about four times as big as the last training room, so it's uh, quite a upgrade to the facilities, and it's only going to make our program that much better. Oh my goodness. All right. So that's right. So uh, I'm going to get right to it, Zach. Um Boomer Sooner. Boomer Sooner, I mean, this uh, this upcoming year, you guys definitely have coming off of such a, a great season last year where, you know, you guys won your back-to-back national championship. The women's team won. You know, Mark Williams, the head coach, won his seventh national title. You know, he has an overall career winning percentage of 91%. And you guys haven't lost since the end of the 2004 season with 53 straight wins. Dang! 14. That's going on three years, people. <sighs> Just got to let y'all know these are some real stats. Yeah, I mean. This is Gymnasticsville where we bring it to you real. We got UConn right now with the women's basketball, and we, we, we got the, the men's gymnastics team right now knocking off 53 straight wins. How do you guys do that? I mean, how do you guys how do you guys looking this year? Um, you know, we're looking good. Uh, we just got back from our first competition. It was a successful competition. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a good way to start. We hit a really high percentage at 97% for the first meet, which is probably one of the better first meets Oklahoma has ever had. You said 97%? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like I said, we, it, you know, it That's was, cute. you know, the standard of what we'll probably consider like a hit might be a little bit higher for the end of the year. But for the beginning of the year, it was a, it was a really good first showing. Um, you know, we set, you know, the standard for ourselves pretty, pretty high. So it's a matter of us continuing to go back into the gym and uh, work to keep raising, uh, work to keep raising the bar for ourselves. Excellent. Excellent. That's so what that uh, is. that's what that is. That's what it is. That's what you're experiencing right now, people. You're witnessing excellence. I don't know, but those numbers are ridiculous. I was, which brings me to my next question. After the men's program won, the women's program won, and the club program won, how do you stay motivated after something like that? Like, I get it. Like, yeah, you're going to have be off of that high for a while but that's like some history right there well the funny thing is is that it's almost like an internal motivation that works at the gym is that now since every team has had that winning season all in the same year it's kind of like you're in the gym and you don't want to possibly be that weak link of the of the university in the gym 
Wow. You know, because the women are looking great. They're ranked number one again. So, uh, you know, who, you know, we both, we both, well, all three of us won last year. So, if one team wins this year, the other team does it. I'm sure it's going to be, you so know, sweet. you know. So, it, you know, there's its own competition within the gym of being working towards the best. So it's a, uh, it's definitely a really positive atmosphere to be at OU right now, for sure. Awesome. And um, speaking about that and that and that winning culture, um, can you just speak a little bit about, um, you know, you were there, you know, for Mark um, mm. as a as a gymnast coach relationship. Um, what is it like working with Mark? You know, obviously he he knows what he's doing. He has a he, he's established such a, a winning culture at the program. Um, what is it like working with him? We want to know about Mark Williams. <laughs> You know, it's great work with Mark. Mark, uh, as in coming from it, being one of his athletes, which was, you know, its own bit of life character building with the, you know, with coming as a freshman, myself being a little stubborn and hard-headed and him just knowing what he wanted out of all of his gymnasts in the program. And then me throughout the, you know, our time there, learning to respect that and him, you know, having that respect for my ability in gymnastics. So we grew in that relationship through the years. Um, and then now as a uh, coach and to work with him and learn from him because it's just, you know, it's, it's truly an honor to s see the program that he's developed and for him to come in here and let me uh, bring a little bit of myself to the program um, and trusting me with the guys and things like that when he was off in, um, off in Rio for the Olympics, you know, so we, we have a great relationship and it continue, it continually builds and, you know, I, not, you know, just, you know, Mark is a, uh, not as you, as he always looks, you know, he's a lot funnier than people give him credit for, you know, he's definitely, a, you know, he's, his joke making is much better than it was when I was on the team. <laughs> <laughs> we all laugh about that. <laughs> so I'm like, hey man, he be cracking some good jokes. He gets on the guy sometimes in some funny ways, nice. uh, you know. But you know, and he's also able to get, you know, have those comical jabs that make you work harder. <laughs> good, yeah, good. everybody needs that. You know, he's a you know great motivator, and you know, obviously, you know. You know, the proof is in the work that he's done and in his accomplishments is that, you know, he's, you know, one of the best has ever done it. So to work with him is, you know, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Hey, uh, one more question. We're about to wrap things up. But did you ever see yourself, like, coaching with Mark? <laughs> Just random. Like, I know a lot happened in your life, especially gymnastically. But, like... You know. To be perfectly honest, I did not, you know, it was always something that was in the back of my mind. Um, and the funny thing is that I did apply for other college coaching jobs in the past. Makes when sense. this one came up, it was kind of, you know, funny that I didn't really throw my name in the hat. But I don't know just where I was at in my life, you know, with being uh, recovering from my, uh, my neck injury at Cirque. It kind of was just like uh, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, and then he called me up, which was just, you know, a shock. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, essentially offered me the job. And, you know, just talk about, you know. Hitting the ground running. You know, timing. You know, all the stars are lined up. And, <laughs> you right. know, he had just won a national championship. So I knew that I was walking into a good team, you know, even though they were losing seven seniors at the time. But I just knew that, uh, you know, that they had a great team and I, who, you know, who wouldn't want to, you know, coach for their alma mater and, right. you know, bring that and, you know, continue the winning tradition of Oklahoma gymnastics. So, you know, great opportunity just fell into my lap and, um, you know, I will, won't look back and just keep making the most of it each and every yeah. year, every day. That's awesome. Um, one more question. One more question. We all want to know, it. at least I want to know it. 
uh, freshman. Freshman just hit the ground running for you guys last year. Yule, you know, won the NCAA Yule. all around champion last year for you guys. How's he looking? How's Yule doing? <laughs> the crowd say that. Yule. Right? Yule's I got some style. Yule. I like I like watching Yule. I'm telling you now. Watch out. <laughs> you know, Yule's great. Yule's great. Actually, Yule's named after, uh, you know, what he tells me, named after Yule Brenner from the Jamaican bobsled team. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's accurate, but that's, you know, I thought that was awesome. I, when he told me that, I was like, you know what? That's one of my father's favorite movies, and Heck I watched yeah. it so much growing up myself, so I think it's pretty awesome. <laughs> but um, Yule's doing great. Uh, you know, he's had, a, you know, that freshman season for him to come in and compete as well as he did was just amazing. Um, and then to be as consistent as he was at the championships and trials. So, you know, uh, sky's the limit with that gymnast. You know, he, he really is, he's humble, he works super hard, he's a great teammate, and, you know, when you have all those things and the guys that we have at OU, you know, his potential is, you know, you know, limitless. So, you know, it's all a matter of just making sure he stays on the plan and stays on this process, but also, you know, understand that this is his time. You know, we have a, a lot of good guys at OU, it's their time, and, you know, but this is, you know, it's time to really, you know, step into the spotlight, and I think he's capable of doing it, along with some other great OU gymnasts that we have at OU at this moment. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Well, that's much more respect to not only you, but the rest of the team, the coaching staff, everybody at the University of Oklahoma. Keep holding it down. Yeah, and, uh, you know, thank you for coming in today to talk. Uh, definitely when you see the guys, you know, Wish him our regards. Hopefully you guys stay healthy and just, you know, be in the mix and compete for a national championship at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. Continue to shoot for excellence because y'all got that standard. I see you. I see yeah. you. You know, it's been great. Thank you for having me on. And uh, I look to come back and, you know, have more conversations on not just NCAA gymnastics, but anything else relevant to the topics that you have on that day. Yes. Hey, you mentioned those injuries. I want to talk about some of those and how they happen. We ain't going to talk about it now. We'll wrap it up. Save it for next week. Yeah, yeah. Injury prevention and how to work through. Exactly, folks. You got to value your tempo. Take care of it. All right. Until next time, we out. Remy Marvin out. Midnight Robin. See you next time.